Hey, they're on. See that? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Holy crap, look at that. Doing something. This is exciting. I thought I wouldn't get much out of that. I wasn't sure. I've shown my successes in these videos before, but I wanted to show all of my footage of me experimenting with different ideas. I did test this once and I got a reading off of it. And then Some of them seemed kind of ridiculous because it was based off of maybe a simple image with no information, but I tried every idea I had. Um, I haven't really figured out <clears throat> how to do this yet. I now better understand what is happening here. As the video goes, I'll post a picture or a graphic of what I was learning because looking back, I could see what I was trying to do. Well, there you have it. Here's a flashlight that's run on cement. I'm gonna try to just present these videos as uncut as possible based off of these small successes. I know that there is incredible technology that we can have in our hands that we ourselves can make in our own backyard. I decided to do a little experiment with the leftover cement that I had. I put a little quartz rock in the center with the cement all around with the copper plate on the bottom and a little uh, aluminum plate on the top. This way I felt like it gave me more surface area to adhere to the copper and the aluminum. We'll see how that works. I let this set overnight. I know it's not quite solid all the way through, but I just wanted to try it. This little test battery here. It's hard enough to pick up, so I'm just gonna just see if there's any voltage. One point one five seven. Wow, that's it's actually encouraging. Try the smaller one. Wow, one. One point zero nine five. That's incredible. I guess the size of this is not really going to matter from the test. Looks like I'm getting almost the same voltage out of this smaller one. So it may not even be necessary to make them that big. Just make them smaller. I wonder how small I can get and still get the same voltage. I guess those are more tests. But I'm going to try to put these batteries in series. And the ultimate test for me is getting this thing to light up. So I'm not... 
experienced on getting the getting something in series, but basically, from what I understand, it's just basically just putting a couple batteries like this. The positive goes in the negative terminal on the other battery, and so it doubles the voltage. So these two AA batteries are 1.2 volts each. So when you put them in series, it makes 2.4 volts. And that's how much is needed to power that, this LED light, this array. So that was my goal is to get at least 2.4 volts, the same as these two AA batteries. And so I might have enough volts out of these batteries collectively to light this thing up. So I'm going to hook it up and see what I can do. Alright, so this is kind of a quick setup. So basically what I'm doing with these two batteries right here, I'm just basically just doing this. And I could take this one and just put it on top like that, which I probably will later. Just do like that. It's just the same thing. But instead I just took a wire and connected the top with the side there. So positive with the negative, so it's in series right now. So <clears throat> with these two added up, I'm just gonna see how many volts I get if I if it works. The problem is I have to try to find out where it connects uh, as far as the little... See, so yeah, I could go on the side, but I'm not sure if it works like that, the connection. Because there's like color, there's a, a ink or whatever they use for color on this aluminum can, so I need to find bare aluminum. Oh, see, it jumped over. Whoa, two. Oh, that looks promising. I need to find a good connection. Uh, <clears throat> little wire sticking out there. Two point something. Oh, it looks promising. 2.36. That is almost 2.4 is what I'm looking for. So I wonder if it'll light up that little thing. This little array. So I just have to hook up the little wires. The positive and negative. I, I need to find some wires though. I might have to prepare this a little bit so um, these wires are so tiny. There's some wire on that. Okay. <coughs> so if if this lights up even just a little bit, I'll be ecstatic. Let's see. So, positive. I think the red's positive. This might, uh, I don't know if it's going to work with my, so that would go positive to negative.
Just looking for a little light. That's all I want. I really got to make this wiring better. It's not doing much. Anything. will work better. <clears throat> okay. This is just extending one of these wires so I can reach it. No way. Oh my gosh. Come on. <laughs> hey, they're on. See that? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. And they're supposed to be flashing. But they just need more power. Dude, that's awesome. Okay, that was the ultimate test of getting a little LED light to light up with nothing but these batteries. So I... I wrote down the mix on these. This one is just the cement with the, the rock in the middle of the copper coil there. It's, it's just Portland cement you could buy from Lowe's. I bought a huge bag of it for like, I don't know, 15 bucks or maybe, it was under 20 bucks, but huge bag of it. I don't know how many pounds. It was 100 pounds of it. I don't know. This one was a mixture of Portland cement and just kind of some Epsom salt powder stuff that I prepared. But I don't even think that's necessary. The Epsom salt stuff. Epsom salts are basically the same as a you know a crystal that holds the charge in it. So anything that crystallizes is going to hold a charge. That's that's what I'm starting to understand. So I mean I have this tourmaline. I put little particles in there. I just threw a little mix it together. It wasn't anything that I did that I saw on YouTube or anything. It was just like, oh, I'll just mix a bunch of the stuff, see what it does. So it gets the same results as this. Pretty much. So, I'm not even sure if the rock that I put in there is even necessary. It might even just be the cement getting a charge out of it. So, well, let's do more tests, but I have ideas that are going to keep going. I have some ideas I don't want to mention yet because I, I want to make sure that these tests work before I get to that. But maybe I'll put this little guy in series to these and then see if this LED array will light up even more. This should light up and blink, like, or they should all just light up, like, pretty bright. So, we'll get to that far. Alright, here's the moment of truth. I'm just gonna set this on here. There's, I just kinda set this other battery on top of the of there. This is rested on there. I'm just doing just a quick little test. I'm not setting it up really. I'm just for a permanent thing. I'm just seeing if it'll work. So <clears throat> um, I'm not sure if I have this correct. Um, I don't think this is right. Let me uh, So, let's see, that's connected, oh, I see, okay, so this, let 
This needs to go here. No. Let's turn this around. That needs to go here. All right, so positive to negative. Positive to negative. And this top needs to connect with this bottom. This took some thinking. Uh, let's see. This is kind of tricky. So positive. So if this lights up brighter, then we got something going on here. Oh, look at that. I saw some of it. Oh, there it is. Sweet. Look at that. Well, look at that. Oh, look at what we got here. So the connections are kind of loose, but you can see it working. I mean, that's, that looks brighter. So if I can get the connections really nice and hooked up really strong, then I know that this thing will work a lot better to get those connections on there. Well, looky there. Well, you can see it working, so I would call that success. Just need a better connection on that. This wire's sucky. connection all right I'm satisfied I'm getting light out of it so I'm satisfied and this is coming apart let's keep that drawing so I feel like if I'm getting almost the, about the same voltage as these two, I could make a bunch of more of these and just put them in series like a battery, like these two batteries, and just do a bunch of them. Make the connections really good and uh, make this flatter. Make this is make it more uh, conducive. Uh, make some more rocks. I don't know. I don't even know if I need the rock in there. I, I might need to experiment with that, but I feel like if you're getting some voltage, a volt, just think of 12 of these. You got a 12 volt battery that basically recharges itself, keeps a charge. So I have more ideas coming. It's, it's, uh, I don't want to jump too far too soon with my thoughts because I, I need to test them first. But I, I'm excited that this happened. 
because now I can move on to some other tests and th this is extremely exciting to me because that happened so th it's basically making an earth battery that's what I think just the minerals in here which are basically all this stuff crushed up and you make it a solid again and it has connection and get the electricity out of it all right, we'll keep going. I'll just show you real quick about the concrete. I'm gonna go further into this test. And this one was interesting. This is my first battery that I made, but I, I did get a volt out of it. A little more than a volt. And depending on the temperature outside or whatever, or inside, then it'll it'll fluctuate. If it's colder, it'll be lower. If it's hotter, it'll be higher. And I can show you what it does when it gets hot. So just watch the voltmeter. And it'll take a second for this to get hot. But you'll see it jump up quite a bit. So it's got to absorb the heat until it hits the copper rod, but it'll start jumping up there. It's slowly going down just because it's dischar discharging a little bit, but it really hasn't received the heat yet. See, now it's starting to jump up. There you go. I wasn't holding it on there long enough, I guess. I put it on there really close then it'll there you go so it's starting to melt the can but you can see that the heat definitely affects it so my theory is my little test some people have actually made these batteries and they've created it where they didn't even put a mix in there they just used the Portland cement or actually they only use sand so they just poured a bunch of sand in there they didn't even use cement and they had just a rod sticking out they had a half volt out of it and so it made me think that if they got a half volt out of just sand then what else can you do I mean if it's if it's concrete just pure concrete without anything else no Rochelle salts or anything then why can't you just put concrete in there, uh, make a battery out of it, and get some voltage, make a bunch of them, get multiple voltages. And I thought further, I'm like, well, if there's if this works on a little concrete cell, why can't you go outside on your concrete driveway and just drill some holes for your copper, kind of like an earth battery, and then uh, put some, another, uh, aluminum on the other side so it's kind of like a little battery cell drill some holes in the concrete and uh, get it try to get a reading out of it if you can get some voltage out of your concrete there's your battery right there you can do multiple ones 
power up your garage or something. That's a test coming. So I'm just going to list really quick what I got in this stuff. I wrote a list here, can't really read it. But the first one, I used a mix of Portland cement. I mixed some crumbs of tourmaline and other Epsom salt and alum. Alum, you can get it. Grocery store. It doesn't really matter. It doesn't really need alum or tourmaline or even a rock probably it might it might help I don't know the other thing is <clears throat> this copper tubing you can get at Lowe's or Walmart even probably uh, you could probably find stuff around the house and there's just a little insulator between at the very bottom I showed in the video you could use, uh, I use leather on this one, leather glove to cut it out. I use cardboard on this one, so it just needs to be an insulator at the bottom so the copper doesn't touch the can. That's all that that's for. And then this one's just Portland cement. And I put a rock in between, in the coil of this copper. I don't even think that's necessary. It might, I, it could be, I don't know, but it doesn't seem like it's doing much more than just the cement. That's pretty much it. It's very simple. You could do this on your own within, you know, within a couple hours of going to the store and getting all this material, you can have this. You just have to wait overnight for this stuff to harden. This stuff is not as hardened, it is not completely hardened, but I'm still getting power out of it. So who knows, maybe the voltage will go up. So that one's completely hardened. And so, or you can go straight to something like this. I'm getting more copper. It's in the process right now. It's on the train track. I just can't go get it today because there's snow that fell yesterday. And I won't be able to find it yet. So I have to wait for the snow to melt a little bit before I get, get my processed copper. But I'll have more copper to work with once I get that in there. So this thing works. It's confirmed. I basically did the same thing as this guy was doing. So you could watch this video. But this guy only used sand. And I think he put water in it or something like that. So sand is basically made up of silica dioxide, which is the same thing as quartz, mixed with some other minerals. So you're basically doing the same thing. What I did was use the Portland cement so that it makes it a solid again without having to melt something. But watch this guy. He doesn't get as much, as much voltage as I did, and probably because it's just sand, but other people have used other methods to get this to work and uh, there's another guy that just put dirt in so it's kind of blurry but this guy put dirt in these in this uh, ice tray and what he's doing is just hooking them together in series and he put some uh, uh, vinegar in it or something but I think the vinegar is basically making it so it connects, just like Portland cement would do. So he was getting quite a bit out of this. He was he said like 14 volts or something like that, and he just connected them all in series. So they could just be as small as this. You could probably just do a ice tray and do the Portland cement thing, and it'll probably get the same results. And you don't have to put more uh, liquid in it. So I want to make that batteries that you don't have to keep adding water or any kind of liquid. I, I just want it to be solid and you don't have to worry about it and just keeps producing power. So take a look at this as well, this video, and it'll just give you a basic understanding of what these people are doing and how, the, uh, and how to get some really easy positive results. Like it, it didn't really take much for me to get that together and make that work, but I feel really excited because it's really uh, confirming what I was thinking theoretically 
and now I have some further ideas. I think I'll make a separate video about my other ideas because I need to confirm some things before I get into it. So just go and test it. You don't have to try to um, discern whether I, or not I'm telling the truth. Just go ahead and go and try it and confirm it for yourself. It's really easy. The tests that I want to do are just basically stuff around the house that you can just make immediately. And I have some. I am going to work with pennies and I'm going to work with some of the things that you can just pick up around your house and uh, even concrete driveways. And another idea was, can't remember the idea now. <laughs> But we'll see what where this goes and I'll make some more videos. <laughs>